Now I request Aindam Chaudhary ji, please come on the dais. Give big hand. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Indor. I want to thank from the bottom of my heart Indor Management Association. I don't know, I've never seen this kind of a gathering for a management function anywhere in the world. It's It's absolutely stunning. Definitely nowhere in India this kind of a gathering happens. I mean, 5,000 odd people coming to listen to a management convention. This can happen only in Indore. And today, let me try and really throw some ideas across to this house. Some ideas which can actually become iconic. The name of the book is Discover the Diamond in You. And my promise is that before I leave the stage today, everybody sitting in this auditorium should feel that they are diamonds. Should feel that they know how to discover the diamond inside them. And they should feel that when they leave this auditorium, they have a different kind of motivation in their life to go ahead and not just a motivation which is going to last them one or one and a half days, but something that they can take back home and try to become a diamond. And this is exactly the concept on which we work at IIPM. You know, every year when students join in, on day one, what do we say? We say, well, welcome to IIPM. We are going to teach you about 72 subjects in the next two years out here. The aim of this program is to tell you that, well, you are a diamond. You are a diamond. The only difference between you today and two years later is going to be, maybe you still haven't been cut, you haven't been polished, and you are not dazzling. And the idea of our program is that through 72 different edges, we are going to cut you, polish you, and make you sparkle. And that is the philosophy behind this book that I am coming out with, Discover the Diamond in You. Why is it Microsoft at the top has Indians? Why is it that Intel at the top has Indians? Why is it the world's best companies today have Indian managing directors? In India, we fail to make great leaders. You know what the problem is? I was taking a session in the morning and I told them that our problem is that our culture is not taught to us and when it's taught to us, it is taught in such a bad manner that, you know, we get bored. We don't want to listen to it. We say, Are yaar, ye kya suna moral lecture. You know, that is our attitude. 
our biggest problem with education is that our teacher are not passionate enough to teach unke dimag mein ye nahi hai ki what i am telling should get inside the last boy sitting in the last bench as good as the first boy sitting in the first bench for them I have to cover a course they just walk inside the classroom like i mean computer machines they just blabber out the entire course and they leave there is you know children spend their entire school life and you ask them that hey what do you remember about your school oh school was wonderful what was wonderful about your school ladkiyan bahut thi you know dost bahut the you know you you say everything else nobody says hamare teachers bahut acche the nobody says that you know what i am today is because of that teacher who changed my life completely and what a shame it is for the teaching coming that we are teachers who students don't go out and say that that teacher who changed my life we spend our lives never idolizing our teacher wants to become a teacher koi apne beti ka shaadi bhi teacher ke sath nahi karwana chahta hai you know marriage marriage advertisements nri husband multinational husband five digit husband 10 digit husband kabhi padha teacher wanted we spent 13 years in our school life you know growing in a manner that every now and then we are looking at our watch ye 40 minute khatam kab hoga ha ghanti baje to bahar nikle because nobody is wanting to change your life to pick you up look at you and say hey you are a diamond and i'm going to make you sparkle and everything that i speak in my class i'll never speak so that you don't understand i'll speak in a manner so that not just you understand when you go back home you never forget it and it is so easy nobody does that so what happens 13 years in school you think yaar ye school khatam kab hoga क्यों तब कॉलेज जाएंगे कॉलेज जाएंगे तो कॉलेज इज शुड बी समथिंग दैट इज यू नो जहां पे पढ़ाई होगा नहीं नहीं कॉलेज जाएंगे नहीं पढ़ने के लिए वाई डू पीपल लुक फॉरवर्ड टू कॉलेज पीपल लुक फॉरवर्ड टू कॉलेज बिकॉज कॉलेज में पढ़ना नहीं पड़ेगा सो आवर कॉलेज सिस्टम इज अ थ्री ईयर पिकनिक थ्री ईयर पिकनिक आफ्टर After 13 years of torture in school, it's three-year freedom. You've seen love, aaj kal na, khulla sand. That, that is, that is our college life. But when a teacher comes into the classroom and says, "Pata hai, bacho, Gita me kya likha hua hai? Hmm? Karm kiye ja, phal ki chinta mat kar. You yawn." कर्म करते हैं फल के लिए हा खुद तो कुछ किया है जिंदगी में हमें आगे बोल रहे कर्म किए जा फल की चिंता मत कर सो यू थिंक इट्स गार्बेज एंड ट्रैश इट गांधी वॉज आस वॉट्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट गाइड टू सक्सेस एंड इन सेट गीता इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट गाइड टू सक्सेस यू नो माई प्रोफेसर टोल्ड मी अरिंदम इंडिया में प्रॉब्लम क्या है ऐसे प्रॉब्लम क्या है बोला कि हम लोग कोई अपना जो कल्चर का किताब है ना पढ़ते नहीं है ऑल दीज बुक्स एव गॉट वंडरफुल थिंग्स रिटन टेक इट आउट टेक इट टू दर्ल्ड चेंज दर्ल्ड नो वी डोंट डू दैट निकालेंगे उसमें से राम जन्मभूमि कहां है और उसको लेके जाके करेंगे कीड़ा दैट इज आर प्रॉब्लम सो माई प्रोफेसर सेट अरिंदम यू नो मैं गीता कहां पे रखता हूं ऐसे सर कहां पे रखते हो अपने पूजा घर में रखते हो गे नहीं सर बेडरूम में रखते हो नहीं ड्रॉइंग रूम में रखते हो नहीं कहां पे रखते हो बोला टॉयलेट में रखता हूं मैंने बोला टॉयलेट सर क्यों बोला क्योंकि आई रेस्पेक्ट दी गीता 
आई कीप इट देयर क्योंकि रोज पंद्रह मिनट कंसंट्रेशन से पढ़ता हूं कम से कम दैट इज वाई कीप इट देयर गीता इज अबाउट कृष्णास principles of life that he told to arjun when he dropped his bow and arrow and and krishna explained what is important in his life i'm going to keep correlating it with what is important in a diamond you all are diamonds what is it that makes a diamond different and i'll keep coming back to the gita you know when you go to a shop to buy a diamond they say there are four qualities in a diamond how many qualities four qualities in a diamond one is the carrot the first thing that you ask when somebody shows is her engagement ring are kitne carrot ka diamond hai samajh mein aaye nahi aaye carrot kitna hai because carrot you know is the way to judge a diamond the layman's way of judging mehanga hai sasta hai kaisa hai is carrot but when when you go to gym, just he looks at the diamond from a very different angle for him the cut is as important and more important he looks at the cut of the diamond because you can pick up a stone from a coal mine at times you know for diamonds you spend a good 6 months planning how to cut it because the cut is going to reveal the beauty of the diamond so the second c is cut is the color how does the light get refracted when it bounces on this diamond the color of a diamond and final is the clarity of a diamond you know you put it under a lens and you see that is this a clear diamond and as a human being we need carrot we need cut we need color and we need clarity and these are symbolized by nine p's Nine P's, two for each of the first three, and three P's for the last clarity, because clarity is most important. So, what is carat of a diamond? Carat of a diamond is the depth of a diamond. What is the depth of this diamond? And in a human diamond, how do I find out the depth? It is about what is the passion that you have inside. What is the passion? That's the first P. and second p is what is the positive energy that you have inside do you have passion and if you have passion can you back it up with positive energy if you can do that then at least you have mastered the first c for diamond that is carrot bring in passion and bring in positive energy and you've laid a great foundation to begin to sparkle you know you are a diamond that is guaranteed then without carrots you are not a diamond next comes cut you know cut is about the hard work and in a human being hard work is represented by two p's performance are you a performer are you ready to perform are you ready to perform and lead by example that determines how well you are cut but you might be ready to perform and you might be a performer that doesn't mean that you will succeed you will fail you will fail more times than when you will succeed so the second p that determines your ability to succeed in life is called perseverance you fall down and you get up you fall down and you get up you fall down and you get up do you have it in you and it is only those people with perseverance who never say are mera luck kharab tha luck is never kharab there is nothing called luck luck at times situations help you achieve something faster yes it is true but that doesn't mean that somebody else who's not helped by the situation will not achieve he will achieve provided he doesn't behave like a loser he doesn't say are yaar kaise karta ye kharab ho gaya wo kharab a well cut diamond never blames anybody else 
He always takes personal responsibility. He said, this happened because I did this wrong. Next time I will do this right. I do this right and I fail again. And I say, I will do this right also. Because this time I messed up another thing. And he keeps trying. So it's performance and perseverance. And if you have these four P's, nothing without passion and positive energy. That's your first two. If you don't have these, you will never achieve anything in your life. Okay? Once you have this, then also there is no guarantee of achieving. After this, you have to perform. You have to work. You know, I built an organization called Plan Man. But, I still saw that every division wasn't successful. And then I realized that it is not passion and positive energy. It is performance. And performance and performance and continuous performance, I call it sustained sincerity. You don't have that, you will never succeed. If you have these four P's, you are, you are successful. You are on your way. Other five P's are additional. That doesn't mean they are less important. They are additional. But these four P's guarantee success. Next is your color. You know, in human diamond, what is color? Human diamond's color is his personality. Show me a great leader, transformational leader. And he would have a great personality. You know, you can like him, you can hate him. A good leader has a great personality. And that, you know what a good color does? What it does is, that through your performance and perseverance you can reach two with personality and people skills that's the next P you reach 22 and that is what the color adds if your personality if inside your diamond you are able to groom a personality and if you are able to groom people skills then you are a super color diamond sought after diamond and finally comes which is clarity you know there are great leaders and achievers who are very passionate high positive energy high performance high perseverance good personality great people skills but that does that mean that those are people who are worth emulating? Maybe not. There are so many businessmen, so many leaders, so many people who have become multimillionaires. Why don't we give their examples all the time? Because the difference between a high quality diamond and a just a diamond is this. Clarity. Because when you are put under a lens, do you still remain spotless? Will I see spots in you? Or will I see a spotless diamond? And human diamond becomes spotless when he has perspective, when he has principles, and when he has patriotism. Arjun was very talented when it came to the bow and arrow. Okay, when it came to the bow and arrow, he was very talented. But when it came to life, he did not have a perspective. He did not have a vision. Month preparation has gone in. Tere ko itna din dimag mein nahi aaya ki jo war hoga tere apne bhai bandhuo ke against hoga. Tere ko mauka mila wo on the day of the war. In the middle of the battlefield, there is no way to get out of the battlefield. He said, What is this? What were you doing all this while? Don't look at them. Look at only your goal. What is your goal? I have to win this Mahabharat. And for that goal, who is your friend? Who is your relative? Who is your uncle? Who is your nephew? Don't care about them. Only when you look at your goal with complete passion and right principles, 
That is when you reach your goal. And finally, there is nothing more important in our lives than patriotism. If we are not patriotic, we are nobody. We are an unclear diamond. Somewhere inside, you have to keep patriotism alive. Because it is those patriotic warriors. You know why Sony is Sony? Why Japan is Japan? Because Akio Morita, he was walking down the streets of New York's Fifth Avenue. And when he was walking down the streets of New York's Fifth Avenue, he saw so many big showrooms and shops. And he saw every country had a flag on it. Every country's flag was there. And he saw that the Japanese flag was not there. And he said to himself that in five years' time, I will have the Japanese flag in Fifth Avenue of New York. That's what drove him. Two years later, he opened his first store in Fifth Avenue of New York. And that's the first time after World War II that the Japanese flag ever flew in American soil, on American soil. And it is that patriotism which made Japan what it is, which made Sony what it is. They went to Toyota to do a study. And they saw that workers were so motivated. One car would come, they would put a screw. One car would come, they would put a screw on a door. Another car put a screw, another car. Whole day, they are working passionately, doing the same boring job. Kya kar rahe hai? Ek darwaze pe ek screw laga rahe. And they asked them, that man, what drives you? Sara din tum log ek gaadi ke darwaze mein screw laga rahe ho. How do you maintain your motivation? He said, what do you see as a car door, we see as America. We are screwing the Americans, man. Where's the next car? We will never be able to be successful. Why? Because if I work for a Mercedes, by the time I have a Mercedes, my neighbor is going to have a Bentley. By the time I have a Bentley, my neighbor will have a Rolls Royce. By the time I have a Rolls Royce, my neighbor will have a private jet. By the time I have a private jet, my neighbor would be planning a trip to space. By the time I am planning a trip to space, my neighbor will be Bill Gates. And you can't beat him. And you can never be successful in that race. So what is success? Success is the courage to undertake the journey that you believe in. And you ask any successful man, and the unbelievable beauty of this story is that everybody will say that they passionately followed something that they believed in. They did not do something for a reward. They did not do something for a Mercedes. They did not do something for the bank balance. They did it because they believed in it. And that is what Steve Jobs writes. He writes, journey is the reward. You must have the courage to undertake the journey. Subhash Chandra Bose died. Che Guevara died. Do you call them failures? No. Because the day they died, they were brave warriors who died, who knew I am successful. And in Bolivia, where they kill him, killed him, killed Che, in that village, there's a huge graffiti scroll that's written where they killed him, on that wall. And it's written, Che, alive today, as they never wanted you to be. Because without patriotism, you can't live after your death. That's the only way that you can carry on your success. Success is about competing with self-imposed standards of excellence. It is not about how much you've made. It's about the courage to undertake a journey. And my friends, I would end by saying that Krishna said nothing else in Gita. He said exactly what thousands of years later today, the icon of billions of people, billions of managers all over the world, Steve Jobs says, he says, journey is the reward. And Krishna said, karm kieja fal ki chinta mat kar. Karm is the reward. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.